to Pete the Norfolk Chili Head, back with episode four of the Chili Channel Awards, bringing you today the Best Male and Lifetime Achievement Award categories. Uh, so I decided to bring you these two categories in one video because, um, well, guess what, guys? Uh, we have our first double winner in uh, the history of the Chili Channel Awards. It's not a very long history, but it is the very first double winner that we have ever had. Uh, I am, of course, talking about none other than Reggae Franco 9, Frank Outson. Uh, with regard to the best male category, it's worth remembering that the vast majority of the uh, nominations that came in for Frank came in before he passed away. So this isn't just people who are wanting to honour him after the event, after we lost him, but uh, this is people who were wanting to recognise him while he was still with us and um, show their appreciation to him then. Uh, so I think that's worth remembering. This isn't just people, you know, sort of saying this, like I say, after the event. These were people who really appreciated him while he was still here. So I think that's fantastic to see. Um, just... Speaking on another note, with regard to the other nominees that we had um, in the best male category, we had quite a lot, and um, you know I'll just go through a few of those for you now, guys, because these guys really do um, deserve a pretty decent mention, in my opinion. Um, the first one that we had uh, nominated was Burnt Brian, who, of course, was the winner of our best newcomer category. Um, so it's fantastic to see um, Brian being nominate, nominated in another category, and it just goes to show you how well he's been taken to the heart of this community and how well-loved and how well-respected his channel already is. Um, so congratulations to you, Brian, and another fantastic nomination, and who knows, next year the title may go to you. Uh, we also had, of course, Bishop Brad. Um, it's kind of a shame uh, that Brad didn't actually win anything this year, because I really do feel that Brad really does do a lot for this community. He does some fantastic videos, all kinds of videos. I mean, you name it, he does it. And he also does some great work outside of the videos, you know, doing charity sources, and he's a very uh, well-respected collector. You should see all of his um, limited edition bottles that he's got going on. You know, he does everything and he does a lot for our community. So it's a shame, really, that he didn't win. But it's good to see him getting a couple of mentions in various different categories. So congratulations to you, Brad. And uh, who knows, like I say, next year it might be your time. Who else have we got? We've got Ted Barris, of course, another guy who cracks up videos literally every single day. Uh, probably the most heavily subscribed channel within our community and obviously very, very popular. Um, I think his channel kind of appeals to the non-chili heads as well, people with just like a kind of a passing interest in spicy food as opposed to just, you know, the the hardcore chili heads. His channel has quite a wide, a wide appeal and he does all kinds of crazy stuff, everything from, you know, hot sauce um, reviews to crazy, crazy challenges with all with non-chili related stuff, which is kind of, I suppose, why, where some of the wider appeal comes in, you know, re reviewing things like, I think he did sister strumming that... Um, Fermented fish thing, Ugh, you wouldn't catch me doing that. Stink the house out. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> obviously Ted Barris, a well-respected and well-liked character, so um, congratulations to you, Ted. Uh, we had Bill Moore, again, someone else who was nominated for the uh, Best Newcomer category, and once again, good to see him being nominated for, for the Best Male. Um, cranking out great reviews every day, and um, they're really interesting and well worth watching. So if you're not familiar with Bill, then go check him out. Uh, we also had Tall, uh, sorry, Tall Pompkin, Paul Tonkin, <laughs> uh, another of our uh, British reviewers. So great to see the Brits uh, being represented there. And we also had none other than Chili Dave from the Chifton, I can't talk today, Clifton Chili Club. Um, they've been getting quite a bit of recognition uh, recently. They recently had a feature on BBC News where it was talking about chili growing in the UK and they had a little bit of a spot on there. So it's good to see uh, a YouTube review channel um, getting national and, I don't know, maybe international exposure there on the TV with um, with BBC News. So that's just a few of the nominations that came in for the Best Male category, guys. Uh, so congratulations to all of you for your nominations. Um, but like I say, today does go to uh, Reggae Frank, both in the Best Male and the Lifetime Achievement category, which, of course, I like I'm... You may have already known I didn't take any votes for. I created that myself, and I didn't want people really, uh, voting for anything else. It was always a foregone conclusion that he would win, and uh, that's why I created the award. So, um, you, you know, I, I think that I've pretty much said everything that I can, really, about Reggae Frank. I did post a couple of reaction videos, sort of... Um, 
nearer to his passing and um, I think I said pretty much everything in there that I wanted to say. There's been a lot of other people who've been posting similar view, uh, videos and offering their views and their thoughts and um, you know I think uh, a lot has been said and it's just proven you know how well liked Frank was. Um, so I'm not going to say too much more about him uh, but you know I, I, I just think that it's a great way to remember him and um, remember him as one of the best and um, one of the most most well-loved within our community. So um, I, uh, well, I don't really know what else to say, to be honest, but um, <laughs> I created these awards um, to sort of recognise the people that we appreciate within our community, and uh, it's safe to say that Frank was definitely one of those guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off for now. Um, you may have to wait till next week, till Monday, for the final instalment of the Chili Channel Awards. I am going down to FFUK in Brighton, Fiery Foods Festival, uh, down there in Brighton, and I'm going to be meeting up with some fellow YouTubers. Hopefully, I'm going to be meeting up with Pete Frisbee, Mr. Frizz42, uh, hopefully Ryan at the Chili Pepper Pete's channel. He also runs the Chili Pepper Pete's shop in Brighton. Uh, maybe Darth Naga, I'm not sure who else is going, but I'm hoping there's, I'm going to be running into a few YouTubers and a few other chili heads, so that's going to be fantastic. When I first started this channel, I never thought for a single minute that I would ever meet any other YouTubers unless they lived like down the road from me, you know, so to be meeting people from across the UK is, is going to be fantastic and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, trying some awesome food, seeing some good live music and uh, getting my burn on. Oh yes. I'll see you all later, guys, hopefully next week with the latest instalment of the Chili Channel Awards and hopefully some more reviews because I'm planning on bringing a lot of awesome products back from uh, FFUK. So uh, I hope to have a haul. Uh, I might even do a whole video, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll stop waffling now and I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Burn, burn,